Traditionally, suppliers sell large quantities of chemicals to the end users. It is therefore in their interest to sell as much as possible. De facto, the inefficient use of chemicals is being rewarded. The sustainable solution is chemical leasing, whereby users only pay for the services rendered by the chemicals, such as the volume of water treated, the number of parts painted, or the lengths of pipes cleaned, and not for the volume of chemicals consumed. Introduced in 2004 by UNIDO, the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, with the support of the Austrian government, chemical leasing marks a paradigm shift for chemical businesses, from the selling of chemical goods to the delivery of chemical services. It is a departure from traditional business models based on contradictory motivations. Before, suppliers wanted to sell more of their chemical products, while users wanted to reduce their chemical use to pay less. With a chemical leasing model, motivations are bundled and aligned. The producer is no longer a seller of goods, but the provider of services that use chemicals. With this business model, the supplier will lower costs when using less chemicals. By decoupling the payment from the consumption of chemicals, CHL encourages better chemicals management. This results in clear environmental advantages as well as consequent economic benefits for both suppliers and users of chemicals. Who actually participates in chemical leasing? First are chemical producers and users. Recycling companies may also take part in a chemical leasing exchange, as do suppliers of equipment. Of course, promoting this paradigm shift is UNIDO and the affiliated NCPCs or National Cleaner Production Centers from across the globe. Willingness and cooperation is required. Chemical leasing meets both environmental and economic objectives. The business model aims to reduce emissions and waste that cause water and air pollution risks while giving value to users, producers, and others affected by chemicals. Chemical leasing improves performance of companies by reducing their consumption of chemicals and optimizing their processes. The risks posed to the environment and to people are reduced while chemical usage becomes more efficient. All in all, chemical leasing strives for a win-win situation. How do stakeholders realize added value through chemical leasing? Imagine a user needs 2 million tubes cleaned and for this needs 100 tons of solvent, which costs $1,000 per ton, totaling to $100,000. The solvent costs the producer $80,000 in terms of variable costs while $10,000 are the fixed costs. Under a classical business model, a chemical producer earns net profit of only $10,000 when 100 tons of solvent are sold. Under the chemical leasing business model, processes are optimized for both user and provider. Less amounts of solvent are needed. In our example, the user needs only 60 tons of solvent. The production of 60 tons of chemicals costs $48,000 now. Negotiations between the user and supplier resulted in the chemical leasing rate at $0.04 cents per tube cleaned. It was decided to divide the total cost savings of $32,000 between the partners. In this case, it is assumed that the user had more efforts for implementation and therefore receives $20,000, a greater share than that of the supplier who gets $12,000. The amount paid depends on the actual number of tubes cleaned. In our case, the income for the chemical supplier is calculated at 2 million times 4 cents, which equals to $80,000. If the fixed costs are the same, the net profit is $22,000. Added value is $22,000 minus $10,000, which equals to $12,000. There are actually various approaches to chemical leasing. The most basic involves a chemical user employing the services of a chemical producer to lease the chemicals that fulfill specifications. Technically, the user pays for the benefit of the chemical and the actual flow of materials is controlled. 
Some chemicals applied in this way are active carbons and solvents. Another approach has a chemical producer working with the supplier of the chemical equipment to offer a complete solution which the chemical user pays for. Abrasives would be released in this way. A third approach involves a joint venture between chemical producers, suppliers, and other partners like recycling companies for providing an environmental and economic solution to a user's chemical needs. The user interfaces with one partner, who then works with many others. Synergy is created. Taken in tandem with cleaner production and process optimization, chemical leasing results in sustainable consumption, production, and management of chemicals. This simply means resources are employed productively, the environment is kept safe and sound, while risks minimized, and the economy is kept competitive.